Happening today, Operation Homefront hosting a star-spangled baby shower for expecting military moms. Mom will, will receive more than just items that they need for the baby. There's a lasting gift of education as well. Steve Nielsen is live this morning. Steve, this is very exciting. It really is. I mean, this is so huge for these 50 families to have something like this, not only because of what they'll receive here, but the emotional support here, I think, is really fantastic as well. We have Leticia with us with Operation Home Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys for coming out. Absolutely. So just kind of walk me through everything that's yes, going to be happening absolutely. today. Absolutely. So today we're going to have 50 um, pre-registered military families coming through. We've partnered with Runbeck Election Services and received donations from uh, other partners in the community. We've put together these baby bundles for them. The baby bundles include items such as wipes, onesies, breast pumps, baby books, baby hats, baby socks. I mean, you you name it, we got it in there. Uh, so it's going to be a great event. Uh, along with that, the families are going to get a sense of an actual baby shower. We'll have door prizes. We'll have baked goods. Everything is prepackaged, pre-prepared uh, to adhere with, uh, you know, COVID uh, CDC guidelines. We have live music. It's just going to be a great event for these families to feel connected and to kick off our Military Appreciation Month. I love that there's going to be live music too and all those kind of typical games because there probably aren't a lot of baby showers right now. Correct. A lot of these families also are serving at Luke Air Force Base and they're away from their families, away from their support system. We're not really making a gathering, you know, a top priority right now with uh, COVID. So this is great. This is going to give them a sense of a baby shower and sense of community. And it's just going to be overall a fantastic uh, day for these military families. And I love Justin there just getting some shots there of the diapers as a dad of a toddler and another on the way. Those diapers that is good as gold right there. That's like that's like half a paycheck just goes right to diapers. So that's awesome that you have that here too. That's that's right. A lot of these families are uh, junior enlisted families, so they're on the lower income spectrum. So the diapers were actually donated by the Arizona Central Diaper Bank. And so it's just a great way for the community to come together and support our military families. And you said this is the start of this month here. I mean, how important just in general is it to have this kind of um, support for these families? It means everything to them. I mean, the reason we have our freedoms is because of families like that step up and want to give back and serve their community, serve their nation. So this means everything to them, just for them to feel the sense of community, the support of the community coming together and putting on an event like this for them. It, it, I'll just speak, you know, my wife's pregnant right now. We have another one on the way, as I had just mentioned. This is such a challenging time, I think, to be pregnant, if I were to guess, just because of, of the world we're in right now. Then you add in the idea of moving to a place where maybe you're right, you don't have that support system. So it takes a whole bunch of groups, a whole bunch of people stepping up to make these baskets happen like this. This is such a day I imagine these 50 families are really looking forward to. Oh yes, they've been on social media all week, very excited, posting, connecting with each other. They're very excited for this event. I'm sure they'll be lining up shortly. Yeah, and, and I love, I'm going through all the baskets. We were just chatting, it's like, oh, I've got that book. Oh yeah, I've got that. This is the good stuff right here. I mean, this is just awesome stuff for all these families and um, really fantastic you're putting all this together. How do people get in touch with your organization and help out in the future? Absolutely, they can visit operationhomefront.org if they would like to uh, volunteer, if they would like to support, donate, um, that's going to be the best way for them to get in contact with us. Uh, we actually cover all 50 states and four territories, so we're a national nonprofit, so they can connect anywhere. Fantastic. Leticia, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking this time this morning because this is really fantastic. 50 families, right? 50 families. That's yes, great. 50 families. That's really awesome. And again, it's going to be, it's not just the drive through component. This is like a baby shower that's going to be happening here. There's live music and games and all of that on top of these um, gifts here for these families too, which is pretty cool. It is. And Steve, she mentioned donations. Is there a website, an easy way if people are watching that they'd like to donate so that they can have more baby showers like this? Absolutely. Yeah, Leticia. She walked away to get ready for me. Right <laughs> she's, now. she's super she excited. Uh, we'll post it. <laughs> we'll have it on our website. Yeah, yeah Fox 10 Phoenix. Thank she's you, ready. Steve. She's got a lot to do right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame her. Look at all those baskets that still need to be made. There's a lot of diapers.